when Julia Halepchuk walks onto a construction site, it's clear she's one of the people in charge. But that wasn't always the case. When applying for jobs, I tended to look for more office-based work um, than something that was site-based. Halepchuk is a structural engineer. She also has cerebral palsy, a breakdown in the neural pathways that can affect speech and movement. For me, it has affected my right side, so I don't have proper use of my hand, um, and my foot is a little is affected as well, so I walk with a little bit of a limp. Because of her condition, she wasn't sure she could fulfill all the responsibilities of an on-site engineer. Probably was rooted in a little bit of fear or cautiousness to, to make sure I'm not putting myself out for ejection. Yet despite that fear, she kept getting hired for jobs that required her to be on site. Now half of Halopchuk's time is spent designing in the office, the other half on site, which she says presents a number of challenges. Her greatest foe? Climbing vertical lat like a vertical ladder, because I don't do it uh, proper three-point contact. So she's had to adapt, whether that's physically. You may see that my arm doesn't work the same way that um, I, like an able-bodied person's arm does. Um, but I, when climbing a ladder, I use it to hook into a an, an ladder rung um, or I'll use it as a brace so when I'm climbing up something that's a little rickety. It's not really any different than anyone else, it's just the way it's used, it looks different. Or by switching up her duties with a colleague. That was an important lesson for Halepchuk, identifying both her limitations and capabilities, as well as how to effectively communicate them to her employers. It's actually been uh, quite easy to, to adapt to it because it's the, the things that uh, Julia has requested are actually no different than uh, any other person that, uh, that may be of a smaller statue or, or you know, afraid of heights. And Gil agrees. It's all about recognizing your needs and restrictions. If you have that open conversation with, with someone, the, there's a, a good, a very high chance that, uh, they, that they will accommodate that or you know, something that you, th you have in your mind might not actually be a big deal. Halepchuk knows it can be difficult deciding what career to pursue when you have a disability, but she has some well-earned advice. Stick to an industry or uh, an interest or a hobby or, or some aspect of life that you find interesting and then you will find people um, and companies and jobs that, that will make place for you in their, their workforce. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.